Full spillway survival. We're not playing no endless today. We had good fun with that yesterday. And uh, I believe just yesterday. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. That's when you that's when you just have to sit down and like you know reflect. Take in some, some you know, good old vitamin. Um, like I can't think of a letter that would have been funny there. Honestly, I was I I was going for it, and I was like, I don't know, I'll figure something out as I get there. Nah, nah. That's when you got to kind of like reflect and just think about uh, think about what you've done, what you've failed to accomplish, and kind of reorient yourself. Untilt, you can shoot things in the head. And you know what? It worked. Okay? So learn, you learned it here first. Well, you probably learned it elsewhere. Broski. You just, if you're feeling too incapable of accomplishing basic tasks, calm down. Take a step back. And, you know, gather your... Energies. Why did we? Why did? Why did I refill this? I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. You know what? We're going for the dualies. Oh, yeah. The dualies. Either this is the, the dual M1911s. The dual uh, Colts. Are they Colts? They Smith and Wessons. I don't think they're Smith and Wessons. I think they're Colts, right? I don't know. I don't know guns, dude. I know it's an M1911. Okay, that's all I know. That's all I know. I like these guns, though. They're nice. They're nice. They're nice and satisfying, honestly. They're reasonably powerful, too, especially after you upgrade them a couple of times. Very minimal recoil, so it's, like, super, super nice, especially for Zed time. Because um, they don't end up, like, flying sky high like the Deagles do. Eagles, you're, you're shooting them at Zed time, and it's just like, yeah, we're gonna go. You know, you end up shooting it down here, and the bolts are going like way up there. You know, it's uh, it's terrible. I don't know how to, but like this, I can like shoot it pretty standard. You know, even uh, even in Zed time, because the recoil is just like not there, like at all. <laughs> like look how look how like we have to be, I think we hit the same spot like pretty much multiple times. Just because there is basically no recoil. Very, very, very nice gun. Honestly, very nice gun. Plus, uh, we can still get the dual deagles and the Glock as well. <laughs> Apparently, as I learned in the last episode in that endless run. So honestly, there's nothing wrong with it. An upgraded, um, upgraded M1911 is perfectly capable of taking down sprakes, flesh pounds, you know, whatever you got. So... I got no complaints having accidentally purchased the M1911 instead of the Eagles. Why well, I, I sold the, or I, I refilled the stupid ammunition on the. I run a real tight ship here, you know. I I barely have enough money for those Eagles round two. It's uh, it's 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 hit or miss. Sometimes I don't even have enough. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes sometimes you just uh, the game doesn't give you enough of the rioters and. Just get a whole bunch of the stupid little clots, and you don't even have the money to afford your deagles, dude. It's terrible. Enough about the game. Nobody cares about game talk. Nobody cares about it. I haven't been playing Monster Hunter, man. I really got to get back into streaming that. Because I really want to play. My god. Stop it. You guys are, like, seriously just bugger off, okay? My god. But I gotta, I gotta get back into streaming because I want to play Monster Hunter. I don't feel good playing it off stream. So I gotta do that, man. It's coming soon, though, I guess, because the new channel is starting. In, uh, in mere days. You excited? I'm excited. I hope you're excited. It's really bad for me if you're not excited. Nice. Two shots on that, and that's sick. Let's get you um, I'm 
impressed by your survival instinct out there. Yeah. Have you checked your ammo? Didn't think so. I want. Uh, can we upgrade this again? Do we want to? Do we want to upgrade this again? I don't. I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Do you want to sacrifice? Basically, do you want to sacrifice the the opportunity for the Glock? That's what it boils down to there, right? Like, do you want to give up your Glock in exchange for slightly more powerful uh, back in the game. M1911s? I don't know. I don't know. Protect the area. I don't think I, I don't think I do honestly. I don't think I do. I don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll you know change things up a bit here. Anyways, we got uh, we got the the Minecraft stuff coming up soon, so that's gonna influence my channel. We're gonna start putting stuff up there. I might get into streaming again. If I do, it'll probably just be Monster Hunter for now, and probably only when I want to. I'm not really gonna be trying to build an audience on it. I just want to have the vods there in case anybody is interested in watching. Um, you know stuff. It's, like, it's not even about the people watching, really, for me when I'm streaming. It's, it's mostly just I've made a commitment to play on stream, and if I don't do that, then I, I feel like I failed. And you know what I don't like feeling like? I failed. I don't like feeling like I failed. That's why every time we lose in Killing Floor 2, I break down into tears and cry. Because I have an apprehension to failure unlike any anybody has ever seen before. I don't actually break down into tears. That would be really weird. No, I just cry normally. I'm kidding, of course. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Please don't kill me. I don't like failure, and uh, it makes me feel like I failed if I uh, die right here. <laughs> I didn't want to die. I didn't want to die, man. But I did. I died. I need to get. I need to get some water. Hydrate those tears. <sighs> pathetic performance. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. It's like, what are you even doing? Right from the get go, you know, your first dad, you just spraying and praying. Nothing ends up happening. It's just. It's. It's as bad as it comes, man. It's as bad as it comes. On the, on the bright side, it means I have to record less today. Because I get to end after this one. And I get to skip that last boss fight. On the on the downside, I get to, you know, cry myself to sleep tonight because I failed. First batch of sets anyway. Get ready Monster Hunter. It's a fun game. I haven't been playing it. I think it's been a new boss or something. Or not a new boss. They're all bosses, I guess. But a new monster. There's a new monster or something like that, I think. Or are they uh, or are they focusing just on the Monster Hunter Rise? Some people are like upset. I don't know. It's it's kind of it's, it's probably gonna be a polarizing experience, honestly, for uh, for Monster Hunter Rise because Monster Hunter World uh, brought out. I guess I could play Monster Hunter Generations. I have that on the Switch. I don't have to stream that. I haven't beaten that either. Anywho, 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 anywho. Uh, do I want to though? Like Monster Hunter World is just so much better in my opinion. But Monster Hunter World brought a uh, Monster Hunter to like the Western audience on a, on a pretty like grand scale. Uh, it has it has a big Western following, whereas the previous Monster Hunter games were very different, both stylistically and from like mechanics perspective, like how the game how the game actually works and. Uh, and um, like the the gameplay loop, you know, like on on that level, uh, the previous Monster Hunter games and Monster Hunter World are very highly uh, different because in Monster Hunter World you have like this big open world. We have different worlds. You have the different uh, like zones that you can fight stuff in, but they're big and they're open, right? My tracky decks. But in Monster Hunter, you know, the previous generations, uh, that's not the case. It's a very closed-in thing. Each individual like area is much smaller and then you have like different zones inside that area that have like loading screens between them and
and you have to like track it down with like paintballs and, and this kind of stuff. Psycho Serum and you know whatever else, right? Um, and I'm, I'm getting distracted because people in Discord are talking right now and they keep adding me and talking about me and I keep glancing over like, what are you talking about me for? But I just I have to read it after the episode's over, okay? So anyway, anyway, uh, the previous generations were very different from a stylistic and gameplay perspective. They, they worked on a very fundamental, uh, fundamentally different way and it's, it's a very different experience. Although similar, you're still hunting monsters and putting on, you know, their armor and weapons and you're still looking like a badass and feeling like a badass. Uh, Monster Hunter World is just a lot more open, uh, whereas Monster Hunter, you know, the previous generations and like the typical Monster Hunter experience is a lot more closed, uh, which did not do so well in the Western world. Um, did not do so well in the Western world. Uh, but Monster Hunter World did do very well in the Western world. So what Monster Hunter World did is introduce a whole bunch of new Western uh, players who aren't going to be interested in the following games that they're going to be making because Monster Hunter World wasn't very good in like the Eastern world, right? Like they're two different things. So it's, it's a very polarizing experience. Um, I like both experiences personally. I think they're both excellent. I do prefer the Monster Hunter World um, gameplay loop personally for me, but I think that both games, like both versions and both styles are, are excellent. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate was like one of my favorite games of all time. I played the heck out of that on the 3, or in the, on the, oh, I think I have this on. No. Click that again. I feel like I have a script running right now that's moving my mouse from time to time. I have like a billion scripts on a billion different hotkeys and I have no way of knowing which one is running. I should really update that so that I can. Because <laughs> it's a problem. It feels like my mouse is jittering around a little bit from time to time though, but I don't know what script I would... that would be doing it like that. Like if I hit this button, it's going to go like this. Which is my... um. That's my sand duping script. Um, which is, you know, great, but, uh, you know, whatever. So, with Monster Hunter Rise coming out, and this new Western audience that isn't going to like that kind of gameplay so much, I mean, a lot of them probably will, like, I'm not the only person in the world who likes both versions of the game. Both styles, both genres of it, you know? Um, but uh, a lot of those people who played Monster Hunter World are not going to like Monster Hunter Rise. And you can already see it with a lot of people talking about Monster Hunter Rise and watching the um, the trailers and teasers and this and that and talk, like the, the announcements and the posts and everything that's going on, all the media that's being released, uh, you know, all the media and the advertising and marketing and everything that you're seeing in all these videos and everything, right? Like you can see people talking about it. And they're not super into it because it's it's pixelated and the detail is much lower and the zones aren't as big and yada 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 which is like yeah but that's what monster hunter is like that's that's what it is like monster hunter world was a was a huge step towards like a, an entirely different thing and it'll probably continue to be run because of that Right, like Monster Hunter Rise isn't a replacement for Monster Hunter World, it's an upgrade to the Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Or Monster Hunter 4, I guess, and Generations Ultimate was kind of like a step between 3 or, or, or 4 and maybe 5. I don't know what they'll call... Uh, I was going to say, I don't know what they'll call the next one. It's Rise, you idiot. Obviously, that's what we're talking about here, dummy. Um, anyway. You got... Uh, Monster Hunter, you know, the sixth version of it, I guess. The classic Monster Hunter. And it's it's a polarizing thing because a lot of people who got into it in Monster Hunter World are expecting more of that kind of content when that's not what the, the original fan base of Monster Hunter was really looking for. And they've got to, they got to kind of cater to both of those audiences now because they have very big audiences in 
it's just it's a weird thing because you have the Western audience who likes World, and you have the more Eastern audience who likes the um, the uh, you know original kind of style, right? And it it is it is genuinely that it's 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 a it's a really fascinating thing to think about personally, um, just because of how polarizing it is. Just just based on like your position in the world, you, you could take a pretty good guess at which style you're gonna like more, which is like bizarre, right? Like, you know, you you can take it a step farther and say, you know, you, you get into the kind of like uh, you know racism, xenophobia kind of stuff when you start gatekeeping it it's not even, it's, I don't know, racism, xenophobia may, might be a bit extreme but you get into the uh, overkill sort of stuff when when you start saying that nobody in the western world is going to like the classic stuff and nobody in the eastern world likes world and you're starting to gatekeep this and do this and you, know, you can't do this if you don't do this and you're a fake fan and blah 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 blah, no, like you can like whatever you want but if you're in the western world chances are you're going to like world more and if you're in the eastern world chances are you're going to like the original series more which is just like a really fascinating. Um, yeah, I think I think I just don't buy the M1911 because I'm lazy. <laughs> we'll buy it, I guess. Why not? I'm probably gonna go back to being lazy because like you, I don't really need it, but like it's there, I guess. But it's just really fascinating. So rises, there's a lot of uh, it's a polarizing game. I'm really excited for the release of it, to be honest. I'm really excited. Where are you? Over here. Uh, let's let you come out a bit. We're gonna let him come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Where are you gonna run? Where are you gonna run? You got, you got nowhere to go. You got nowhere to go, buddy. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Hey, let's go. Get dusted, son. Oh, you gotta, you gotta hold up, hold up, hold up. You gotta whoop, whoop. Is that? Come on, make it. Hey, you can get it up there. I've done it before. I have a video on it. It's called the Dosh Yeet. I've done it. I can't do it now. Damn. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like, subscribe, see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time when we're not getting attacked by Zeds, or I guess when we're getting attacked by more of them and retaliating. Bye!